Hey everyone, this is the Hydra Hut, and this is Weapon H. So if you've been following uh, Greg Pack lately at Marvel, then you're probably familiar with Weapon H. Um, <coughs> he was kind of alluded to in Monsters, Inc. Um, he's been teased for like all of 2017, and now we're finally <coughs> getting introduced fully to Weapon H. Um... If you're familiar with comics, you're probably familiar with Greg Pak. He did World War Hulk. Um, he did Planet Hulk. He did Return to Planet Hulk with Cho, which is an atrocity. And now he's doing Weapon H. <coughs> with Hulk Vereen, the Hulk Wolverine cross. Um, let's start out with the cover. The cover is cool. I like the cover. We got the Wendigo, who shows up in this. We got Weapon H. Um, this guy, I believe, is supposed to be Weapon H when he's a soldier. Doesn't actually look like him. We got some sweet Apaches. Some... Yeah, it's a good cover. Not a good price. <laughs> Five fucking dollars for a standard comic. It's not even like deluxe. It's just just a comic. Cable, 155 which was a good read with a brand new team, was only $3.99. And was a far better book. And I still bitched about it. And they're charging me five bucks for this cheap imitation Hulk Vereen. Ugh. Yeah, let's, let's jump in, fam. So <clears throat> we start off in Butte, Montana, 5 a.m. Behind, a, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a local Home Depot. Um, translated from Spanish. We have a bunch of illegals talking about some scary monster they saw that was tearing up a truck in the fields and how dangerous and, and frightening it is. <sighs> All right. I have family in Montana. I've been to Montana. Um, I looked up the stats on Butte, Montana, and as of 2017, the Mexican population, well, Latino or Hispanic population, if you will, is 4.1%. The people who speak solely Spanish in the entire state is 1.1%. Now, that 4.1% of Hispanics in Butte is out of a total population of 33,000. Also mind you, Montana is the one of the farthest states from the southern border. Montana does not have a rich farming freaking system going on, which is where most illegals go. I know the media makes it seem like they do nothing but construction, but farming is the real the real thing that they're going for. That's why you see them in, Mon in uh, Washington, because of all the apple orchards. Um, Montana is more of a logging community, and I've done logging, and I'm sorry, but you don't see Mexicans, or a lot of Mexicans in the logging industry. You just don't. Uh, anyway, so, of course, we have all these illegals in Butte, Montana, waiting to get picked up. They're talking about what we can assume is the Hulk Vereen. I'm just going to stop focusing on the fact that there's a bunch of illegals chilling out in Butte Falls, Montana, like this is the big city. I live in a town in southern Oregon that has the exact same population as Butte Falls, Montana. And we have a much higher Hispanic population because we touch California <laughs> and we don't have groups of Mexicans hanging out behind the fucking Home Depot waiting to get picked up by construction workers. That is a big city trope that doesn't affect the majority of this country. You fucking moron. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop focusing on this. <laughs> stop focusing on this. So they get picked up by this construction worker who's got his hard hat on. Which, if you've ever done construction, this is bullshit. Hard, you don't wear your fucking hard hat when you're not on the job because everybody hates their hard hat. <clears throat> so, uh, as the men are all loading up, he's counting them off. Um, our gringo, who we are assuming is Weapon H, is following with them to go do some work. The construction worker's like, hey, I don't recognize you. And the guy's like, no hablo inglés. And he sits down and the Mexicans are like, hey man, who are you? Uh, and he's like, no hablo espanol. <laughs> and the Mexicans are like, ha, 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 ha. Uh, construction workers kind of offended. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, boss. Some people just want to be left alone. <laughs> Whatever. So um, 
we're already getting a slightly bad taste in our mouth for white people. That's a good start. Uh, construction goes by fine. Everybody in the background's like, man, he's a hard worker. And they call him Noablo, which is funny that, and actually accurate. I, um, when I worked construction, I ended up with some weird nicknames from the Mexican crew. Um, <clears throat> so as they're inviting Noablo to uh, go have drinks after work, um, we hear, hey, 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 from the background. And then we look, and here comes a... A red pickup truck. You'll notice it actually looks a lot like Hank Hill's truck. Um, Hank drove a Ford. So, pickup truck full of white racist rednecks. You notice the only ones that have hair is blonde hair. And what are they here for? Oh, that's right. They want to rob the Amigos and take all their money because they're just illegals and nobody cares about them. Of course, a boy, Noah Avlo, he's going to stick up for him. He gets into a fight. They make him angry. And he uh, Hulk Farines out on him. And now we have our introduction page. Our sloppy, stupid, movie intro-esque introduction page. <sighs> I also love this random, he like, slices their truck and it causes a huge explosion. Because that's how that works. Because gas is <laughs> hyper explosive these days. Uh, I still don't know who VC. VC's Joe Caramanga does the, um, the lettering. Also, Joe Caramanga is a douchebag. I just want to throw that out there. Massive douchebag. If you haven't had the pleasure of dealing with him online, go check him out on Twitter. Massive douchebag. <laughs> uh, we get some background on what Weapon H actually is. This is nice, especially if you haven't been following it, which I haven't been because I hate what they're doing to the Hulk. <clears throat> um, good explanation. Also, I got to point out, the artwork in this is... I really don't have any complaints about the artwork. Um, some of the people aren't done the best, but all the monsters, all the fights, yeah, it's pretty top form. So, 13 hours after destroying a bunch of people in Butte, Fall, or Butte, Montana, we're now in Alaska. Because Alaska is a hop, skip, and a jump away from Montana. Uh, he cuts off his fingerprints so that nobody can find him because everybody in Montana is tracking the woods for fingerprints. But, of course, they heal. Uh, we meet a family. He wants to avoid them. He walks off into the woods. They're like, honey, where's he going? I don't know. There's no trail up there. Uh, and then we find out seven days later, he's now 342 miles deeper into the Alaskan wilderness. Um, he's no longer wearing a tank top. He's now dressed up in furs with a sleeping bag and a pack and apparently has had no issues getting prepared, even though when we last saw him, he was literally wearing a tank top and some fucked up pants. But now he's full geared out, so, you know, soldier on, brother. Um, where he's hanging out in the woods, this helicopter drops down a, um, a research group. <coughs> and we pretty much start following what's going on with him. Um, I actually didn't realize this was a woman at first. It wasn't until much later. <laughs> but, uh, so of course, the only logical person in this entire re um, work group or research group is the uh, mulatto woman. Uh, this guy, this guy's evil. Um, this guy's kind of just a beta cuck. Basically, they're here trying to find some place that was discovered before and then lost because everybody died. Uh, all their supplies for rations were actually left on the, um, uh, the chopper. So they thought they were all going to starve to death. Uh, Weapon H was trying to just avoid him, but then he saw a deer and was like, ah, all right. So he kills the deer and leaves it for him so that they have some food. Because he's, he's a human. He's relatable. One of my complaints about this is it really seems like he's trying to replace Bruce Banner with this guy. Um, he's not drawn like Bruce, but he's drawn very similar to the way Bruce was drawn in the past. Uh, he's wearing purple pants, which is kind of Bruce's signature. He um, can't control the Hulk. Also part of Bruce's signature. He's only really has control when he's protecting a woman. Kind of also Bruce's signature. Um, and just his, like, I just want to be left alone. I just don't want to hurt anybody. That's very much Bruce Banner. But, um, <clears throat> so anyway, he calls. He wanders up to a park ranger station, alerts them to those people's location, and then we jump back to the research group where they are cooking this uh, this meat. Um, the logical one, 
is cooking the meat because she doesn't want to die. Uh, the apparent leader, he's, he basically says, oh, that could be poisoned. Don't eat that. Um, she obviously thinks that's ridiculous. She eats it anyway. Let's look at this. So I like the deer drumstick being cooked on a stick over a small fire. That's adorable. I don't think Greg's ever gone camping or hunting. Uh, they find this area that they're looking for. <coughs> our, um, our main guy, the one who's inconspicuously evil looking. Uh, he's like, oh, it's time to celebrate now that we found what we're looking for. And he pulls out a bag of jerky. Special jerky. And this dude's like, yeah, because he didn't eat any of the deer like a jackass. Um, he starts munching down on the jerky. And then that's when our, uh, our villainous brother here um, points out that it's not normal jerky. It's human flesh. Uh, the guy who was mounted, munching down on it starts freaking out as our moral compass um, starts to lecture him. The guy who munched down on the human begins some sort of transformation. And that's when we finally get introduced to the Wendigo. This is where the book really picks up. Um, a lot of cool fighting. The Wendigo looks badass. Uh, we find out that our, there's something special about that evil guy. Hopefully you didn't notice. So, you, you know, I won't ruin that for you. Just cool, cool fights. Um, kind of, meh, story. Jump over to Greenwich Village so we can uh, see Doctor Strange working his magic. He uh, was looking for the Wendigo and finds Weapon H. Well, that's all we see of Doctor Strange. Let me jump back to his family, which is in Euless, Texas. This is our main guy's wife. We are introduced to her, her children. She's... I guess we were supposed to assume that she's stressed out because she lost her husband, but she's really not that great of a mother. Kind of a short temper, kind of sweary, um, not overly pleasant, and also not drawn particularly well. And Marvel needs to get off this freaking black lipstick kick. Women don't wear black lipstick. Corpses wear black lipstick. All right, digital code, guys. Forgot to mention this at the beginning, but somebody's getting it. Look at that, it even came off smooth. All right, if you made it to 12 minutes, then here's your reward. First come, first serve. <coughs> so at the, uh, pretty much the last of the book is just a whole bunch of different organizations coming to uh, semi-discover um, the Hulk Vereen. Uh, we also get a lot of backstory on the Jude's family and find out that she's actually semi-tied to one of these groups that's uh, now discovered and searching for the Hulk Vereen. Um, she also hasn't been able to get her life insurance money because nobody's been able to prove that her husband is dead. Uh, that's caused quite a bit of drama. And here's the official name drop, Hulk Vereen. I was calling him that sarcastically before I got to this far in the book, and it turned out that's really what he's getting called. <sighs> all in all, I think this is a big old fat waste of money. I highly regret paying $4.99 for it. I think the art is cool, um, you know? You're doing a great job, artist. Colors are great. Um, the story is stupid. The plot is kind of... Eh, eh. <laughs> but um, Greg Pack, you need to unclench your ass and fucking go back to writing proper stories, man. It's, it's really hard for your fans to watch what you've become. <laughs> so just think about it for a little while, brother. Hell Hydra, baby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.